Hello everybody, welcome back to Edgewater Saskatchewan. So episode 15, the contract has just come up complete for this field, which is field 45. But we are going to head straight on to the next one. So slightly unusual start to an episode. I think we normally start in pretty much the same place with the same view, but I'm not mucking about at the beginning of this episode because I haven't done what I normally do. I haven't skipped a day. So we are still in May. Reason being is I really want that truck. Yeah, so I need the money before we skip a day because I'm pretty sure... I mean, when you don't want it to, it stays there for three days. When you want something, it disappears pretty much straight away. Uh, which is really annoying, but that is just my luck. So, we're just going to get a couple of contracts done. Now, money in the corner, it's changed quite a bit. I have done, I will show you ever so quickly. I have done off camera, as I said I would. Field number six. Oh my I'm glad I did it off camera because my hard drive would not have been big enough to record that just through the file size. That took a while. That took it. It was worth it though. Just under 35,000 we cashed in on that one, but wow. Yeah. And then the second one that came up was Field 30, which is the one that's kind of right next to us. The, the, the bit of grass that I normally pull across just to turn around up here. So we've done that field. Um, that, I can't remember how much that gave can't remember it was 20 something it was in the 20s anyway um so like i said though anything i do off camera it's kind of the fun going towards the the house the landscaping um the bits that don't really make any difference to the series but they just kind of make a difference to how it looks and my kind of realism head so what we have done is started this 43 um i didn't record the whole thing i've just jumped the recording in right at the very end there and also then we have got on the way back field number 22 to do so that shouldn't take too long it doesn't look much smaller than the other one but the contract itself is actually about three thousand pound less so it must be a decent amount smaller so we're just going to head straight up there once the train has gone past and get that contract done as well so yeah what, what have we got to do today so first thing get the truck then we will skip forward uh, like we normally do so we will then be in June uh, and I'm pretty certain that the grass will be fully grown so it will have that kind of that sort of brownie tip to the top of the grass which means we're gonna get absolute maximum out of the grass itself um, because of the money situation and because I'm kind of prematurely buying a a truck. Uh, I won't look into the swaffer too much, but I'm still interested to know um, some more comments around the kind of 20% uh, yield bonus you get when you swath a crop. Does that apply to the grass? Um, if I'm honest, my my kind of gut tells me that the thing that gives you the additional bonus on the yield is the actual pickup, uh, the part of the harvester. I don't understand how a grass swaffer would be able to kind of give you that um, yield bonus um, and because obviously a harvester doesn't pick up grass I think it probably doesn't apply to grass um, it just applies to the, the crops that it is picking up you get 20% more going into the harvester when it's collected from the ground that, that's what I think anyway that's what I feel would have made sense um, I can't see how they would have done it any differently um, so yeah so we will get on with cutting the grass we'll use our standard mower uh, it's a pretty good mower it's quite wide the the rake swaths it up quite nicely as well do you know what i don't think we're far away from having a big big jump in money we're certainly in a position now where we don't need to be skipping months so much so i know that it's probably later on in the year or beginning of the next year when it's worth the most amount of money for the silage uh, so basically we're going to be making that huge amount of money whenever the price is kind of there or thereabouts um, but in the meantime we've got lots of other things to get on with we've got some work to do with the pigs um, we've got to start planning ahead on how we're going to be feeding them and, and looking after them uh, I have got a little shed I downloaded a couple more mods some sheds to put in that area maybe we'll decorate that area a little bit more as well make it look like the, the secondary part of the farm uh, and what I'm thinking actually in the meantime 
I might also um, do a time lapse, a whole entire time lapse episode on this series. Um, just one episode. I don't really like doing them too much. I do kind of enjoy talking, talking rubbish to myself. Um, but I might do it as a farm build kind of time lapse, and there's two reasons for it. Me trying to talk over doing landscaping, I'd run out of things to say. Uh, but also, I know that a lot of people, and, and I'm think, being cheeky here, I'm thinking of the whole kind of the YouTube algorithm. A lot of people do search for time builds, or farm builds, I should say, um, in kind of time lapse form. So let's kind of continue our series, this series that we've got here, by building the farm, but in a time lapse. Um, and also, it means when I get over the top which I absolutely will do and I will spend probably a, an hour just doing the landscaping because that's just me at least then that should make a half decent sized episode everyone will be able to see exactly what the farm's gonna look like without me just kind of magically appearing everything so that, that's my plan anyway I think that'll work uh, that of course I've got to keep building up the funds in the background uh, with the the contracts off screen. Okay, lovely. Contract finished. So, we'll head on back to the farm. I figured out a bit of a trick in reference to the, the helpers. There seems to be, it must be that the, um, the course, I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but the course obviously doesn't go right the way down this road. So when you get about midway down the road and set the worker, it does actually drive the correct way back to the farm. If I was to do it about here, it would actually turn around and drive the long way. So there must be some point in this track where the, the kind of auto drive route uh, must be broken maybe, uh, which obviously I, I can't look at on the crossplay, but not a problem. I think if I try it about here, maybe it will work. target is unreachable okay so exactly where we've been parked actually must be one of the areas that doesn't kind of recognize as a route so let's go down the road a little bit further let's try again yep and now he is actually driving look he's going the correct way so there must be a point here somewhere where on the actual map making the the circuit the AI track or the auto drive route must just have a little break in it but don't matter Ideally, we don't really want to be using uh, workers too much anyway. Now, as you can see, I, I fully stocked up. I just used a little bit more of it, but there's there's 100 litres in the bag there, so there's there's a good 1,000 in there still. So we'll keep that in the, in the back, drop that off at the farm at some point. But we'll drive this back. Now, actually, while I'm here and I remember, I will 
just cash in the contracts because they've been doing some weird funky stuff so 9683 and 11,823. Nice. Now that, if I'm honest, before I started doing the contracts off screen, I don't know how much we had, but I'm kind of, I'm going to go with, look, that is pretty much enough to buy the truck right now. Interesting. That's come back up again. Field number six. It's the exact same value. Wow. I want to say 34,945 is how much it was when I did it. So they're paying one dollar more. I got it right, Rob. One dollar more to do the same job. Which is odd because I haven't skipped a month. I don't there's something something a bit weird with these fertilizing contracts sometimes. Definitely. I'm not gonna do it again, even though that is a really good money boost. Honestly the amount of time it took it's completely ridiculous. I am not doing it again. Right, we'll drive on back to the farm when we get there we will buy our truck and then we will skip forward a day as per the, the usual the problem with the workers around this area is quite vast don't really have a big selection of people I can employ but he promised me he was going to stop drinking but um, I'm not so sure He's got a problem, this guy. He's got a problem. Let's get past him quick. Okay, so we are back. So, I did say if I remembered, I would clean this at the end of the last episode. I didn't remember, as you can tell. So, I will do that right now because in the time I buy the truck and skip a day I will forget to do it again really <laughs> he has definitely got a problem He's getting closer. Oh my god. Okay. Truck done. If you come a bit closer, I can wash it. Yeah, I don't think so. Right, let's pop that back. Let's sort this worker out because this is getting a bit silly now. Okay, right, let's just uh, pop the fertilizer spreader back into the shed. So, what's it got there? 244 left over, that's not bad. So, really, again, just like every other time, I didn't really have to put a lot into the spreader to uh, complete that contract. It doesn't matter, it's ready for next time. We're not going to need to do much liming for a while anyway, so that's good. Okay. Park that here. Wonderful. Right, exciting bit now. Let's get... Yep, it's still there. So, I think we won't change the colour because it'll probably charge. Yep. I don't know if there's a selection of colours that are free. No. So we'll keep it on, I think it was that one. Yep, we'll keep the colour the same. Licence plate. That's better. It's got to have a licence plate, isn't it? Wouldn't be legal else. Okay, let's buy it. 33,168. Yes, please. Nice. Wow, I mean that's pretty much uh, skinted us right out now. About right to be honest, 54 grand left. That is kind of what I earned off camera. So that really is there for the landscaping. When this area hopefully will start to look like something a bit special. 
see what I can do. Right, let's skip through to the next day. Here we go, next day. So we're in June. The weather looks great. Still around £200 a month for production costs. But that's fine. Right, let's just have a quick check in on the pigs. So, lovely, look, 50% 50, 50 towards reproduction, which is good. So we're going to have some more pigs pretty quick. And uh, this little piggy is growing up quick. Now, what are we on? The straw is going down, which is good. The water's good still. The food, the food is starting to get low. What I do want to do, though, is we'll just run over and see if that manure pit is actually working. It should work. There's no reason why it wouldn't. But it's always good to check. This area looks quite nice now as you come up to it. Once we've decided what's going to go on with this kind of harvested, rough looking bit of field, this whole area will look pretty good. Yeah, right. Yeah, it looks good. It's definitely manure in there. 110 litres. So that is working great. And uh, slurry, what are we at? 347 litres. Wonderful. I like this mod, it's doing a good job. It's nice to see some pigs as well. I don't know if everyone agrees, but I know a few of you do. You just don't see the pigs, certainly on YouTube too much. So it's a bit of an experiment. Let's see how much we earn from them. And hopefully people will learn from that, maybe. Lovely. Right, the grass. That's definitely ready to go. It's got those tips on the end of it, just like we want to see. It's going to be a lot of work. It's going to be a lot of work. And it's not going to be something the helpers are going to help a great deal with either. Which is why hopefully, soon enough, we'll have some people on here with us. So this field here to finish off, that field there to harvest. I know we started on the episode with a bit of a time lapse. Probably ain't going to change much, just prior warning. This is probably going to be a little bit of a time lapse the episode. I'll tell you what though, before I do, let's jump to the shop. We didn't even look at it. It kind of looks quite brand new still. It shouldn't look brand new. Now maybe the mod hasn't got kind of wear integrated on it. Because that to me just looks like a new truck. With the power of editing, let's see if I can make it any better. Right, there we go. That looks a little bit better, doesn't it? I think this this particular mod, the model obviously doesn't have too much wear, so you can barely notice it, but I have just uh, fiddled with it a little bit just to make it look a bit older, because we bought it old. The damage bar, I assume. Yeah, so the damage bar is about halfway, so that that's what we want. <laughs> Starts up, no problems though. What a beast. What a beast. Right, we're going to leave this here. And we'll keep an eye out now. In the next episode or so. For a trailer. On used. And that would be ideal. Because this is going to make life so much easier. Certainly the low loader. To uh, help with the contracts loading up. But if we can get a trailer that's massive. That's going to save a lot of time on the uh, slurry deliveries. So what have we got in the shop today? Oh, it's typical, would you believe that? I'm not gonna lie. I sold the other one back and bought that one instead. This is kind of a standard. I think maybe it's the in-game one, but either way, it's a branded one. Um, it just looks better. I think all round it's a more finished mod. It looks far more detailed. Um, it's pretty much the same. In actual fact, this is less horsepower than the other one. Um, but it's just so much better, in it? So I just edited out. Obviously, the one that I bought, when you sell it back, it doesn't sell it for the same value you paid for it. So I just tweaked the, the prices a little bit, changed the money value. So we've just got that as a direct swap. See, all that time I could have skipped a day and got that instead. It's typical. Right, let's have another look now. What else is left? So, yes, that would be amazing. And, you know, we'll probably have that sort of money pretty soon. Um, but, not today. And not right now. 
In terms of realism, I think we'll probably get a straw chopper at some point, but again, not right now because we don't have any money. That that money in the top corner there is a imaginary. That's just paying for landscaping. So nice. We got a truck. What a beast. I love it. Right. Let's jump back. So. Lots of grass cutting to get on with. I'll uh, make a start. And once I feel I've done enough, I'll jump back into it. I'll speak to you very soon. He's just ditched it in the water and then got out and ran off. What the hell is he doing? Goodness me. To be honest, I'm surprised he didn't do that earlier. Um, well, I just... Uh, this main bit in the middle, as you can see, you can kind of get away with hiring a worker. Obviously, I can't hire a worker for the raking or for the actual collecting. So I thought I might as well do it, make the most of it. We'll um, uh, we'll uh, finish this little bit of field ourselves in a minute, if I can remember how to use the equipment. There we go. How much is this going to be? I honestly don't know. I, I actually don't know. It looks like a lot though. Um, I'm going to make a guess of a lot and see how close I get with that. Okay, there we go. Rode up pretty nicely. So, to be honest, we're not too far away now from the end of the episode. I did... Uh, in between the time lapse then I did actually stop recording um, around midday and then started or finished the recording in the evening 
Uh, so I have done a few things in the meantime. I have edited part of this video so I know how we're kind of tracking for time so this is good this should be a, a good length video um, but I will show you what I've done and I've also had a, a bit of a think and a few comments which agree with exactly what I was thinking as well which is great so um, I am going to do what I always do no do you know what I'm not going to do what I always do I was going to just dump it there but I'm not going to I'm going to park it up I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do this shed isn't big enough, by the way. We need a bigger shed. Or a second shed. We're filling it pretty quickly. Okay. Let's just park that back up in there a second, just out of the way. See, like, the door opens for you and you shut the engine off. I never noticed that before. That's pretty cool. Okay, so yeah, I've had a bit of a think, but I've also done a couple of things. So I've scoured through Mod Hub, um, obviously crossplay enabled mods only, uh, and I've just future kind of future proofed a few things. So in terms of trailers, uh, when we're talking about the uh, the truck. I'll call it just this one time. I'll call it a semi. Now I'm not going to lie. The way I read it, it actually says semi, not semi. So it's quite hard to get used to it. Uh, but I play with a lot of people that call it a semi. But for me, reading it and calling it a semi kind of means something else uh, over here anyway. Um, yeah, it's kind of slang for someone else. And I won't go into too much detail, but I don't want to be talking about semis all the time, if I'm completely honest. So I'm just going to go with truck. So yeah, what I've done for the uh, truck trailer is downloaded a few mods so this one looks like a pretty good one 26,000 it's got 23 to 45,000 litre capacity I think it costs more if you go for the max um, the end one here is a very expensive one but if that was to come up in the shop in the meantime I've used that before it's got a very kind of American truck kind of feeling to it I feel so that would be the the ideal uh, 83,000 litres, we wouldn't go for the unrealistic one because that's just ridiculous. Um, this one here actually comes with a really nice looking mod actually, uh, which is the grain hauling pack mod I think. Um, that is really nice but the Mac that goes with that is also really nice and that's not what we've got. But 35,000 litre capacity for 27,500, that's pretty good. Uh, and I believe there was one more, this one. I don't know if that's kind of American Canadian style really. I see them around here where I am quite a lot. But that's pretty good value. 48,000 litre capacity for 35,850. Uh, the main thing I just want to check is at the bottom, wait for it to scroll over. So that one will take silage. This one will not take silage, so that's probably a no go. This one, that one will take silage. And then the very end one, I'm sure will, because I've used it before. Yeah. So there's a couple of us. So we've got three trailer options there to go with the semi. Uh, I've also had a look for some low loaders. And again, I'll just show you real quick. So these are pretty good. Really, really good. What I like about this, and I don't know if it will work with the swapper, but cutting bar support. It has kind of, and it's rotatable, so that turns around flat ways. You drive your harvester up to it, drop the the header off onto it, and it turns lengthways like it is shown there, and then you can transport the harvester behind it. So that is that's cool. That's a really good idea. If that works with the swuff ahead, then that might be a definite. But yeah, pretty good, and that is only twenty two thousand. But also, to be honest, the base game one is pretty good as well. So there's a couple of options for the low loaders there. Not a problem. And then finally, normally water containers are in animals, but this one I noticed was in miscellaneous, and it was just a water container, which was this one. It looks kind of small, um, but it's got 40,000 litre capacity. It's only 14,500. 
So that's also pretty good. Now, in terms of realism on this one, you couldn't back up a trailer like that into our little lake thing that we've got just because of the sheer size of it uh, and safety. Again, trying to be realistic, that would probably kind of crumble. That would be a hazard. So if we buy that, to fill that to capacity, I'll make a little rule that we have to drive to one of the designated water spots, which kind of look quite cool anyway. Um, but but that would be our little rule on something like that. So no no reversing it into a little lake to fill this huge thing up. So yeah, just a few little options for as and when we get to it. And of course, hopefully, some of them will start appearing in here as used, which, which would be brilliant. So... The other thing I was thinking, and I've also literally, as I'm recording, just had a comment which pretty much says the exact same thing, and that is, someone mentioned about the greenhouse. I don't want to get rid of this greenhouse just because it looks cool, uh, and the lettuce is, you know, it's an okay passive income. However, when I first started recording, before I kind of took a break in between, I was talking about prioritising these little guys in here, and how we need to get the food sorted. And the answer was right in front of me all along. And I'd even downloaded it right in front of me all along. So Productions Greenhouses, the open air greenhouse. So if you have a look, you can see here, it grows beet, it grows potatoes, it grows corn, and it grows sunflower. It's perfect. It's, it's exactly what we need. Um, so it's, it's a no brainer really, it's 2000 pound. Um, now the money in the top corner, I did say was purely for landscaping um, and this isn't landscaping this is to benefit the farm but actually once I've uh, been in and kind of pre-edited the first half of this episode already I realized that actually we started with 17,000 and then we earned 22,000 so of that 53,000 we've got there a couple more thousand of that is genuinely earned money so this isn't breaking any rules and I think we're going to place it here. Somewhere. Okay, so I've just uh, placed it. I did cut it because of me being me. I had to do a tiny bit of landscaping around it. I've purposely kept myself clear of the 50,000 mark. Um, and this is kind of what I've done really quickly. So I've placed that kind of here because anywhere else further down there, as you can tell, it would have cost quite a lot to do the landscaping. I think it was an extra £500 just to put it there, to be honest with you. So, uh, But that's fine, because we're going to have some other plans for this area eventually anyway. But I've just turned on the interactive zone markings again, just to make sure, because I knew that the pallets loaded up on one side, and it was this side, hence me putting it at this strange angle. So we've got enough room here to back in that small water container. Um, and I believe it only takes water initially and we'll just get it doing some corn um, and probably some sunflower maybe uh, just so that we have got some backup pig food so I'm just going to double check is it just water I do really like this mod by the way when it gets snowy and it gets into winter it automatically puts on like a a bit a bit kind of like a, a foil tunnel that we've got over there it does look quite cool in the winter months. It's set to do that automatically. Now, what does it need? So, yeah, so this is one that will run more if you want it to. Um, so, you can um, add the fertilizer, the seeds, the manure, uh, and it will do more. Um, but I believe. I believe, I believe. Yeah, you have the options here, look. So you can increase it by a heck of a lot if you add the additional into it. Um, so it's kind of self-producing food because the water's free. Um, the seeds don't cost a huge amount. And then the manure, which we'll use as fertilizer, is essentially what we're taking straight from the pigs for what they produce from eating this food. So that whole self-sufficient thing, this works quite well quite well indeed I didn't even realize you could grow soybean from it as well so this is great this is what we need to do but for a minute let's get straight into 
topping this right up with some water. Definitely. So I think just doing this is a good way to end the episode as well, if I'm honest with you. Um, we've made some progress. We've done uh, a heck of a lot of the grass work ready to go. We've just got the kind of long, boring bit to finish now. And we've organised the pigs. So that they're now... Uh, they're not going to be left to go hungry anymore, which is a good start. So, how much do you think we're going to get? How much do you think? These swaths look quite high, you know. They're certainly not small. There is a lot of grass there. Plus, we've still got that smaller field over there. So, how much? Let me know what you think. I am going to guess. I am going to put a figure. Um, I reckon... There's got to be 200,000 litres of grass here. There must be. I do think so. This combined with the other field, I, I'm going to go with about 200,000 litres, which to us from a monetary figure, depends if we wait. If we wait right to the very best month, it's probably about 100, 105,000 maybe, 110,000 we'll make from that, which is great. Um, anything near that figure would be great but just to throw a number out there that's what I'm going to guess anyway but let me know what you think ok so this would be the second tanker full of water now for the pigs or for the pig food I should say oh wow look see how uh, early that trigger goes there look I didn't even have to reverse it back as far as I thought ideal so potentially you know th this might not only be uh, for kind of growing the food to feed the pigs to then create all the profit from the pigs actually if it grows fast enough it's also going to be uh, some extra things for us to sell which would be really good so uh, this could be a good £2,000 this was this is a good mod if you haven't used it this is a really good mod now what do we want to get going while we're in the menu let's have a look what did we say Okay, right, well, the lowest on root crops, so we do need to get some root crops going. Um, what do you get the most of? So you actually get 256 sugar beet compared to 192 potatoes for the same thing. Now I am getting a bit carried away because we haven't actually put anything else in there, have we? So, yeah, so for every one water you get four sugar beets compared to three potatoes so because the the figure is the figure it makes no difference which one of the two so makes sense we need to activate sugar beet uh, then you've got protein I believe is soybean or sunflower so that's one for one that's one for one so in theory that makes no difference whatsoever let's just do sunflowers because they look nice when they're growing um, and then finally, uh, some corn. So every two water you get three corn. So I think if we leave it with those three, let's just see how much we get with two things full of just water. Um, if that's enough to feed the pigs, then anything extra we do after that point is just pure profit. So let's see how we get on with that. Doesn't that look amazing now, look? bit of corn, some sunflowers, there's the old uh, sugar beets down there. Deal. I can't believe I didn't think of this before. That looks quite nice. Brilliant. Well, it'll be interesting to see how much that's actually produced by the morning. Because they're clearly hungry and they're clearly getting through their food. lovely okay well i think that's it um it is late in the evening but i'm kind of in in the zone now so um i'm gonna end this episode here edit it get it released out for tomorrow but i am gonna record and, and go ahead and film certainly part of the following episode so uh friday's episode the last one of the week on this sask map uh, i'm certainly going to start it anyway um I will just end the episode on. We have 50,863. I have loaded up the um, additional menu. So I can tweak it. So we know we have £50,000 in the bank for 
landscaping. So I'm going to remove that. So £50,000 removed. We've just got to remember it's there. So we are ending the episode on £863 with £50 in the bank for the house and the kind of home area. So pretty good. Well, if you're still watching, thank you very much for watching. Give it a guess. Let me know how much you think is going to be here. It is hard to guess. But let me know. And uh, in the meantime, cheers and gone.